Right, welcome back. Some chilly conditions across the Twin Tiers this evening. Winds out of the north ushering in uh, cool Canadian air. The National Weather Service has uh, gone ahead and issued a frost advisory for Tompkins County. This is where we have the best chance of getting frost tonight, but other parts of the viewing area as well, expecting some mid and upper 30s, so at least patchy areas of frost will be possible. Stepping outside right now, our Wellsboro Sky Cam. We are dealing with the dry conditions. Some scattered clouds, though, at this hour. Not expecting any precipitation, though, as we go through the next several hours. And uh, in fact, the clouds will continue to break up and uh, that will lead to the chilly conditions we're expecting overnight tonight. So our weather headlines looking like this. We will call for uh, well the coldest night so far the season with 30s for many locations. A lot of sunshine for our Friday with high pressure and control and then showers develop on Sunday and that uh, will usher in some uh, cooler temperatures once again going into early next week. You can already see the 50s off towards the north. Penyon at 55, 53 in Watkins Glen. Still hanging on to some 60s over the northern tier, but the cooler temperatures are heading your way. We're tracking a cold front right now. Again, that's uh, passing right across the viewing area and uh, north of this front. We're looking at uh, northerly winds ushering in some uh, chilly Canadian air, and this will continue to settle off towards the south here as we progress through the evening hours. Closer inspection of the satellite showing the clouds beginning to break up just a little bit, and this trend will continue here uh, through the rest of tonight. 53 in Rochester, 59 in Syracuse, but 70s off towards the south and east. 24 hour planner looking like this mid 30s for lows tonight, so definitely a chilly night. Even if we don't get frost, it's it's going to be on the cold side. Uh, as we wake up tomorrow morning, chilly stuff, but up to 67 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee with mostly sunny skies, courtesy of a big area of high pressure. So as we advance future track here for tomorrow and into Saturday, really not a whole lot showing up. We will have a lot of sunshine tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow night, noticing some increase in clouds. And as we go into Saturday, skies becoming uh, mostly cloudy. Some peaks of sun here and there, but uh, we'll keep it dry. Best chance for rain over the weekend will hold off until Sunday. And our first fall foliage report of the season, not a whole lot of color locally, about 5% of the leaf change so far. But in some of the higher elevations over the Catskills and up towards the Adirondacks, uh, they're just starting to change. They're even approaching midpoint in some of the higher elevations up towards Lake Placid. Our five degree guarantee for today look like this. We forecast a high of 65, made it up to 68 degrees before that cold front moved through. So for tonight for the northern tier, frosty conditions, 35 in Mansfield, 36 is what we're forecasting in Sierra. Also looking quite chilly for the southern tier, 34 in Bath, 35 for Corning and Elmira tonight. And for the southern Finger Lakes, some areas of frost will also be possible. 37 in Penn Yen, 34 is what we're forecasting tonight in downtown Ithaca. First warning, seven day forecast showing at least a sunny day tomorrow. Some more clouds over the weekend, but it turns warmer, a little breezy as well on Saturday. Showers Sunday and then another cold front comes through. It looks like more 60s going into early next week. But beyond that, it starts to warm back up again towards the second half of next week. Schizophrenic this time of year. Ups and downs. <laughs> that's right. Mother Nature can't make up her mind.